Hello everyone. Welcome back to our second day in our Kelowna trip. We have got a lot in store for today. So stick around to see what we are up to. Of course, we can't start our day without our usual steep tea from Tim Hortons. It's a must have on our budget road trips. After our tea and coffee fix, we set out to our first destination high up on a mountain. Getting there involves navigating some rough, muddy and slippery logging roads. The terrain changes quickly from dry to snow and muddy as we ascended. It feels like we are driving onto the clouds. And sure enough, we soon find ourselves enveloped in mist atop the mountain. Our destination is Myra Canyon, home to 18 man-made trestle bridges and two tunnels. Our aim? To reach the second trestle bridge and if you are lucky, maybe even a tunnel. We are treated to stunning views of the steep terrain and valley below, although the clouds limit our visibility across the mountain. It's incredible to think this used to be a railway track carrying heavy loads of coal and minerals. The strength of these trestle bridges is truly amazing. The remnants of the 2003 wildfire serves as a sobering reminder of nature's power. We couldn't venture further due to the lack of bear spray, so we settled to reach the first trestle bridge. But we vowed to ourselves to explore all 18 bridges on our next visit here. Tell me, hot water. water. It's hot water. It's hot water. What do you call cold water in English? Cold water. What do you call warm water in English? Warm water. What do you call frozen water in English? Which water? Frozen water. Frozen ice. Water. Ice. Well, ice. <laughs> <laughs> you got uh, blue. Blue. Black. Black. What's the color of grass? 
As we descended the mountain, we stopped to admire a peculiar rock formation with evenly layered rocks, pondering its formation. Our next stop, a winery with vast vineyards and stunning art installations. We also enjoyed a wine tasting tour. It was a roller coaster of flavors. Follow up with a satisfying lunch at a downtown eatery. Followed by ice cream to indulge our sweet tooth. A perfect treat! Before we can get too sleepy, we headed to Knox Mountain for some calorie burning.
Climbing up, we felt the elevation gain, but the panoramic city views at the top made it all worth it. Look, we even spotted some deer. As we came down the mountain, all we saw was the beautiful city below us. Luckily, we didn't have any snake encounters. Back at our Airbnb, we were surprised to find deer roaming nearby. Talk about co-living. Once home, we quickly whipped up dinner, played some family games and watched some movies before calling it tonight. And check out this unreal sunset. The colors are out of this world. And that wraps up the day two of our Kelowna trip. Tune in next time to see where day three takes us. See you soon.